Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So what is the right attribution model that you must use for your Google Ads account starting 2022 and onwards in order to get the right data? Now, attribution models are one of the most important and the most overlooked things when it comes to Google Ads simply because normal e-commerce store owners just believe whatever Google gives them, which is of course last click in most cases, and they just end up using that attribution model all the way through out until they start to realize that they're not really getting the desired results that they would like and yes the attribution model that you use can determine a large portion of your success so in this video i'm going to be covering the different att attribution models available out there on google ads as of right now and even show you the data on my own ad account which has crossed over six figures in ad spend just with google ads and towards the later portion of this video, I'm going to tell you exactly which attribution model I recommend. So watch until the end because it's an extremely important video. I mean, if you want profits, this is an extremely important video. So watch until the end. But let's just get right into it. First thing you'll have to do in order to find any types of success with these attribution models, however, is to destroy that like button down below and subscribe if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos and hit that bell notification as I post on a weekly basis. But hopefully you have done that. Let's get right into the attribution model. So this window that you see on my screen currently, it's very easy to access this window. All you need to do is go to the tools and settings wrench on the top right. Once you click on that, go ahead and click on attribution model. So once this loads up, we'll be able to see exactly what that is. And in order to do that, I'm going to go right to the home page. So I'll meet you guys there. So right from the overview section or just any page available, just go ahead and click on the wrench on the top right. Because once you click on that, this should pop up. So from this window right over here, what you want to do is under measurement, you want to go down to the attributions button. And of course, you'll only be able to see data if you have already spent some money on your Google Ads account, you have campaigns running. Otherwise, it'll be pretty much empty for you. So just go ahead and click on the attribution button right over there. And once you click on that, you'll be taken to this page right over here. At the top, Google might be giving you some recommendations. However, it is extremely important with Google Ads that you don't really pay attention to what Google is recommending because you can go ahead and do what Google is recommending but in most cases you will end up filling Google's pockets instead of your own pockets because whatever Google really recommends it's based on what can benefit them as a business what they can do to earn more money from you as the advertiser because you are basically Google's client in this case that's why I never really listen to what Google has to recommend or for that matter any advertising platform because in the end they're trying to figure out what is best for them so they can earn the most money but once you get on this page right over here you want to go ahead and click on the model comparison on the left side to be taken to that screen which i was on before because on that screen you'll be able to compare the different models and see how the data affects each different model which is extremely important if you want to know exactly which model to be going with now as you can see on this page right over here i have certain campaigns coming up for the last seven days view what we're going to do is we're going to change this view from the last seven days to all time simply because we want to get a better idea of how the campaigns are looking when it comes to looking at a large amount of data so changing this from last seven days to all time we can see that now there are some campaigns coming up here which have spent well over six figures and that is the kind of data we want to be looking at some of these are general testing campaigns some of these are smart shopping campaigns so we have campaigns from all over the spectrum which is going to of course help us understand the data attribution models much better so as of right now in this top window this lets you compare the different attribution models you can compare two at a time and then on the bottom right over here you have the different columns which you can be looking at i always like to check all of the columns right over here to get a better understanding of how the different attribution models are doing so far so what i'm going to do is i'm going to rank by the highest cost to the least and then we're going to start by comparing the most common attribution model which a lot of e-commerce store owners have and that is last click we're going to be comparing that to something like first click and before we even get into the comparisons i want to take you guys over to this page right over here where it's talking about the exact attribution models and what google has to say about this because it's important for you to know about these different attribution models before you decide which one is best for your business so here are the different attribution models we start with last click followed by first click linear time decay position based and finally data driven so so far google has only these available and if we look at an example right over here 
We can see that Google has actually provided a very decent example in order to understand these different attribution models here. So let's say, for example, you own a restaurant in Italy and a customer finds your site by clicking on your ads after performing each of these searches. So every single one. First, they search up restaurant Tuscany. Second, they search up restaurant Florence. And then third, they search up three star restaurant Florence. And then finally, they search up three star restaurant Abigail Florence. So this individual right here only makes a reservation with your restaurant after this third search right over here, this final search. And you can think of this as somebody purchasing your product after the final search. So after three consecutive searches, they finally end up purchasing your product. So how should the attribution be done in that case for that sale? Should it be given to this keyword right over here or should all of the keywords be given a certain portion of that conversion value. And this is where the data attribution models come into play. So if, for example, you were using Google's basic attribution model, which is last click, the most recent keyword which they searched up, which was the three star restaurant Abigail Florence, it would receive 100% conversion credit simply because that is the last keyword they searched up before they went ahead and clicked on your ad and purchased a product from you. On the other hand, if you were using first click, then the first keyword that they searched up in this list, which is restaurant Tuscany, that would receive 100% of the credit. Now, as you can see already in this case, it would not really be ideal to give that first keyword all of the credit simply because even though that was the first keyword they searched up, that is not what led them to click on your ad. So first click, in my opinion, is pretty much pointless to be using. You never want to be Using first click but moving on to linear each keyword in this case would receive equal amount of credit simply because they kind of went down a funnel first they searched up the first keyword then the second then the third and so forth so because of that 25% each should be given to each consecutive keyword and this is kind of making everything balanced and safe and this is one of the attribution models that I personally recommend, but we'll talk more about the others that I also recommend as well shortly. In the next one, time decay, the most recent search keyword, three star restaurant Abigail Florence, it would receive most of the credit because it was searched closest to the conversion. That means it is based on time. Let's say you searched the first keyword 30 minutes ago, but then this last keyword right here, you searched about five seconds ago. Because your conversion came after that keyword you searched up five seconds ago, that is what would receive most of the credit simply because it was the last keyword searched and the most recent. Next one, position based. It's based on which keyword was searched first, second, third, and fourth. So for instance, in this case, restaurant Tuscany and three star restaurant Abigail Florence, I would receive each 40% credit because this was the last one and this was the first one. Obviously, first one is most important and last one is most important because after the last one, there's no more searches. I mean, the sale was done. That's why it gets 40% credit. And then the ones in the middle, they only get 10% credit. So as you can see, this is how it kind of works. If, for example, you were to count this as one entire sale, that means 0.4 of that sale would go to the first keyword, 0.4 would go to the next one, and then 0.10 would go to the two keywords in between to add up to a total of one total sale. Finally, data driven. This is basically Google deciding it on its own. You have little to no control over how Google decides it because this is based on the machine and the algorithm. This is one of the worst things you can be doing. And I say this out of my own experience because for the past few months, I had been using data driven and it sort of messed up a lot of my campaigns. And we'll talk about exactly why that happened very shortly, but that is pretty much it for these attribution models. Again, you can pause this video to kind of read this section right over here to get a better idea of how attribution models work. But going back now to the comparison models right over here on this screen, we want to see exactly how they work. So for instance, let's start off by looking at the conversion value because that is the most important. Right here, this first campaign got us the most sales so far of around $400,000. And it's extremely important to look at a large portion of data because as you can see with a large amount of data, the percent change between these numbers Numbers, it's very very little but it lets us analyze how these different models compare to each other and which model comparison you should be using exactly so for instance right over here there are of course some campaigns where the percent change is extremely high so 10 percent and above is considered high but as you can see with first click the overall conversion value and the cost of our conversion they were very very similar to each other but that is not the important thing because we know how these attribution models really work now Comparing the last click, which is the most commonly used attribution model to linear, which is something I recommend, we can see that why it is so important to be using either one of these right over here. So last click and linear, as you can see, the percent change, it's 0.05. That is very, very minimal, barely anything at all. Whereas when we compared it to first click, we can see that overall in percentage change wise, it was extremely high. But with linear and comparing it to this 
last click model right over here these numbers decrease significantly and what we're trying to do is we're trying to find those models which compared to the one google provides is very very similar to that model and right here linear as you can see these numbers go down significantly if we change that now to time decay we can see the same thing happening in this case there are some that are above 10 percent but overall very very minuscule changes and in fact with this one right here it decreases by 0 0.01 not really that big of a change but still a very good number now moving on to position based right over here we can see that this changes to 0.02%. This means that position base actually calculated the conversion value to be a little bit less than what it was on last click. But the major attribution models you really want to be looking at is, is linear last click. If you're just starting off, then last click is ideal, but linear last click. And of course, position base, because as you can see with position base, there were very few campaigns where the percentage was above 10%. The more this percentage is above 10%, the worse it is going to be. For example, right over here, wherever you see these blue arrows, like 12% right there, 16%, 14%, those are bad things. When you change this, to something like position base you can see that the arrows basically become very very minimal that is a good sign and of course changing it to linear which is what i currently use and also what i currently recommend you can see the same exact thing happening throughout this of course there might be some where it does tell you a little bit extra but in the grand scheme of things we want to be using that attribution model, which gives us very, very accurate data and provides us accurate results so that we know exactly what to scale, what not to scale and so forth. And here's exactly why I don't recommend data driven. So if we change this data driven, we can see that again, the blue arrows pop up and, and in a majority of these cases, actually, so we can see right here, 26% in this case, 34%. That is a very, very big number. That means data driven and Google's algorithm. It has too much control over the attribution models. It's sort of making up these numbers just so because it is not getting accurate data because you want to understand that data driven it works entirely based on data if you're not getting a certain amount of conversions per month then this attribution model is completely useless and this is why my own campaigns got messed up after using this for a while of course conversions go up up and down on a weekly and monthly basis but with data driven if you don't get a certain amount of conversions per week or per month then the entire model begins to kind of overreact and produce inaccurate results which is exactly what happened as you can see this triangle right here indicating some kind of error with this model and that is exactly why i don't recommend data driven but here is why i recommend linear over all of the other models right over here so if we go back to this section right over here we can see that with linear again it distributes the credit for the conversion equally along the conversion path so i want to know which keywords got even a small amount of that conversion so i can use those keywords in my descriptions in my titles so that that percentage of the conversion it can increase next time because again with proper search engine optimization if you include those keywords multiple times within your descriptions titles tag section and so forth you have a higher chance of ranking your ad for those keywords within google shopping ads or google search ads and as a result your sales will also increase so that's why i really prefer linear over the other search models and i have seen this work time and time again on different ad accounts as well for example this ad account right here is of a client that i run ads for with my google ads marketing agency and if you're doing over thirty thousand to fifty thousand dollars in sales and you're looking for somebody to run your google ads for you just go ahead and go on to my website at yourroommarketing.com and book a call with my team to see if we're a good fit to run your ads for you but here this ad account has been doing extremely well but it has been running on linear click and if we go ahead and go inside of one of the campaigns the beauty about linear click is that it gives us very very accurate results as you can see conversion paths right over here we have different conversion paths here and if we go inside it'll tell us exactly which keyword brought us a certain amount of sales which ad group even is working the best so that's why i personally prefer linear and that's what i always try to recommend for different ad accounts as well because the other attribution models they may not really be ideal ones for you but again to kind of sum this video up start with last click if you have little to no data but once you start that first initial campaign you get a few conversions i highly recommend you change it to linear the linear attribution model because that is the way to go that is what's going to provide you the most accurate results and data for you to scale your campaigns further but that is pretty much it for this video again if you're doing over 30k to 50k in sales go on to my website book a call with my team at yourroommarketing.com if you want to run your own ads however i do have a google ads course called the google ads mastery course where you can get a lot of crazy results just looking at those videos and implementing what's in those videos while joining that special vip group of course members which is in a skype group but if you if you found any type of value in this video destroy that like button and destroy that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time